it's Kelly Marie here and we have a really fun treat today as Shari is going to show us how to make twirly twine using lawn trimmings cord. So say hello to Shari! So hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make some little curly cues out of the new lawn trimmings twine and how to stain your twine as well. So we're going to be making these little guys and we're going to be making card in the end. And the first thing you want to do is cut a piece of twine to whatever length you might need. That's a little much, so you're going to see me cut it in half so that I have smaller pieces to work with. And we're going to be using um, peel paint distress stain. You can also use the distress pads. It works as well. You can use color mists, any kind of coloring medium. Um, I like the stain because it's nice and liquid and it soaks in really well to the twine. And of course you don't have to completely coat it like I'm doing here. You might just want to tap it and get a little bit of color and have the natural stay. Just do whatever you want. And I'm using green because the card is going to have some flowers on it and these are going to come out from behind the flowers. So I'm just going to clean up my space a little bit. And to make them to where we can form them and make them stiff, we're going to be using the multi-medium in the mat from Ranger and the Claudine Helmuth Studio. And I'm just going to squirt a little on my craft mat here, and this is where you get your fingers icky. You're going to play with it like you used to play with glue when you were a kid. And just coat the, the twine really well with the, with the medium. So once these are getting coated, you're going to set them aside so that they can start to dry. You can also speed up this process if you need to with a heat gun. But as they start to dry, they're going to get stiffer and you're going to notice they're going to be a lot easier to mold and to form. So we're just going to let these dry a little bit and then we'll form them. So I set those aside to dry a little bit. Um, I hit them with the heat gun a little because I'm impatient. And um, they're, <laughs> they're dry enough to form now and I'm just using a shish kebab skewer to form them. You could use a pencil or whatever you have handy. And you can see it's holding its shape more now. And it's not quite so limp as it was when it was all wet. And actually on the second one, the second one was a little more wet than the first one. So you're going to see me wrap it around and actually hit it with the heat gun while it's on the wooden dowel to try and dry it a little more. And once you get these kind of shape, you want to set them aside and let them dry completely. So now we're going to work on the card base. And I have a square card base cut out of yellow basil cardstock here. And we're going to make a flower and some leaves using some leftover bright side papers. These are actually from 12 by 12 sheets. We're going to use the flutter by set with the flower and those two leaves and the hello friend set for the sentiment. So I'm just going to stamp these out in some black ink and these two pieces of paper and cut them out. And here you see me just arranging them on the card trying to figure out where I want them to be. When I'm done I'm actually going to glue the leaves to the back of the flower so that I can take the whole flower and pop it up so that the curly cues can come out from behind the flower and have some space. Now I'm taking a strip from the bottom of one of the 12 by 12 sheets, I believe this is off the Happy Thoughts pattern, and I'm just going to put that across my card, just a little more color to add to it, and then I'm just going to trim off the excess and keep that for another project later. And I'm stamping my sentiment in some purple ink that matches pretty closely the purple on this strip. So I've, I've glued these curly cues to the back. I use glossy accents. I also use some glue dots to help hold them down. And they're a lot longer than I really want them to be right now. Um, it's better to have them too long to begin with than too short. So you can see I'm sort of figuring out where I want them to be and how long I want them to be and trimming them off. And I'm actually going to add a couple more of these foam dots to the backs of the leaves now that I know where these the twine falls so that it can it can hold up the whole the whole flower as one piece. Let me just take off the backs of the adhesive and adhere it down. And there you have it. There's our finished card. And of course, these would look great in any color. They would be great for some sort of party card, I think, with nice streamers. So I hope they give you some ideas on different ways to use your twine. Thanks for watching. Bye.
A big thank you to Shari for that wonderful video and thank you all so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.